Hey guys, welcome back to the food forest. Or this is uh, the new space beside the food forest. Look what I found. Uh, champignon uh, on a walk today with my husband. And it's gigantic. And I thought uh, that was uh, a good occasion to actually talk about mushrooms, growing mushrooms in the garden. And what I've done and how I have succeeded and how I have utterly failed. So I'm no expert, but I'm just sharing what has suddenly worked for me really well. So this is from a walk. That's, uh, that's not from the garden, but we will have this for dinner tonight. But I want to show you um, how amazing it is that suddenly we have, after years and years of trying to grow mushrooms, we suddenly have amazing champignon in the garden. Um, and I have, I have tried lots of different things uh, to grow mushrooms. I've tried uh, uh, putting holes in logs with uh, uh, little plugs with mycelium. It did not work. I had like uh, half, half a shiitake mushroom maybe, <laughs> and it was just not working. And I think it's because we have very dry summers, very dry spring and summer. So that means that I need to water the logs and I, pro I didn't do a pro proper job of it or I don't know. I just, uh, it wasn't working. And I also find that the mycelium that you are buying is so expensive. And if it doesn't work, I think it is quite a lot of money to be spending uh, on uh, something with the success rate this low as it has been for me. So. Um, what I have tried instead is that when I buy organic mushrooms, they very often come with um, with uh, the root or bits of soil and root on them. And uh, when I have been cleaning them in the kitchen, I've taken them, I really made a point of taking them out into uh, my soil and my beds and uh, leaving them to uh, maybe uh, leave some mycelium and grow themselves. And also when I have found some wild ones um, and also some old uh, mushrooms where the, the, these, we call them lamella, I don't know what they are in, uh, in English, but you can see what I mean. When these are sort of quite old, and, and uh, actually the spores are released from these and I have also just thrown these around in the garden and now suddenly we have loads of mushrooms and I'm so pleased. I mean, I'm so pleased. So um, I'm just going to harvest some for, for dinner because if they grow too big, they are not so delicious. So um, this is, I mean, this is the perfect size. I don't mind eating these at all, uh, but this is super delicious. Um, and as you can see, this is the uh, fourth time I'm harvesting this much. And you can see lots, lots of tiny ones coming up. So I don't need to take all of them. I'm just taking what we need tonight. Um, and I don't know, I think I might have done this two, three times, and then it's just a matter of being patient. Uh, you cannot will mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> they are just doing their own thing. And I don't think I understand them the way I understand plants, uh, because they are doing things underneath the soil, and I don't know what's going on. So. Um, Another thing, another reason why I think finally we are seeing more mushrooms in the garden is because I have been feeding the soil and making sort of loose, very rich soil. Um, so amending the situation with the very heavy clay soil that we usually have. Uh, and, and that is also encouraging the mushrooms to come in and to grow more happily in the garden. Uh, and horse manure also uh, traditionally has lots of mushroom growing in it. Uh, if you add horse manure, you will see many more mushrooms coming into the garden. Um, so I think, I think those, those things have worked. 
uh, and why not uh, instead of throwing it out or throwing it directly on the compost you should uh, put the ends in your soil and maybe you'll have delicious mushrooms <laughs> makes me happy and uh, i hope you have success uh, <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, see you later